They are the shoes of choice for A-listers and fashionistas and women who really love to dream about these shoes. I know them. French designer Christian Louboutin and his unmistakable red-soled footwear became famous on Sex in the City. I do not have bail money, just so you know. <gasps> oh. Hello, lover. Oh, I am needing those for my last big night on the town. What are you two going to do? Drinks, dinner, dancing. Very old New York. I love that line. Hello, Leva, Beyonce, J-Lo, Nora O'Donnell, Carla Bruni have all been spotted wearing those red bottom shoes. Louboutin opened his first store in Paris when he was just 19. He now has 80 shops worldwide. And Mr. Man is at the table. Hello. Hello. Your Good shoes morning. really can be called works of art. You took the most um, obscure part of the shoe, the sole, that's really the least attractive, and made it really a fashion art. Is red your, is red your favorite color? Well, red has to be my favorite color. <laughs> now? But I love all colors, I have to say. But red has a very specific thing for me, yes, definitely. But how did red come about? You didn't choose yellow or blue or black? Well, when I started the Red Soul, it was in the early 90s. And I realized, well, when, there was a lot of women when I had my first store. There was a lot of women who were only dressed in black, who would not wear colors. But even if you don't like colors, red you have pops. You have the elements on your nails, you have the elements on your lips. Even if you don't wear colors, you end up having red, red somewhere. Red someplace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And isn't there something about an eye that ends up getting drawn to the back of a woman's heel because of that color? Yes. I've heard that. Absolutely. Yes. And what do you think a shoe should do? How should to it make someone feel? Mm -hmm. Well, a, sh a shoe should make the woman feel look good look good, but also what the mystery and the very nice thing of shoes, I'm talking of shoes with heel, is that it totally transforms the language, the body language of the woman. And it's a very important thing. It's just on the feet, but it irradiates the whole body. But you men, see. you say, pay attention to. Do they, Charlie? Oh, sure they do. To, to, to but, but what's foot. interesting about him is he thinks it's more important to feel sexy than comfortable. Yes, Is absolutely. comfort a bad word for you? <laughs> I have say. you ever worn a woman's shoe, your shoe? <laughs> I Christian, tried it, once. Oh my God, was it painful? You know, it was just because I was doing a new heel, so I wanted to see the balance. And actually, it can be probably sort of painful because the heel was not well balanced, so uh -huh. I sort of erased it. Mm -hmm. So I can understand that it's not like walking on sneakers, but <laughs> you know, it's a, different, it's a different story. You feel a different person, and I think that most women have those moments that they want to feel like a woman. Mm -hmm. No, no, there's still, I'm gonna, I, I will tell you because I'll take it off. Here we go. We, here we go. Uh -huh. I really do think, don't you love this shoe? I do. I really do think it's a work of art, but I tell you by the end of the day, you could be crippled if you're not comfortable. But you're saying, look, we just need to learn how to walk in the shoe and that it's worth it. Absolutely. But I have nothing, you know, I'm almost like a doctor. So, so design is my most important thing. But then after, I have tricks to make in order to make those shoes as comfortable as possible. But it's true that the comfort is not my first thing. Yeah. If, so, if you look at my shoes, I just don't want you to tell me, oh my God, it looks so comfy. Mm -hmm. That's that's not a thing that I would take as a compliment, you know, uh -huh. if you think that type of shoe. Get a clog. Exactly, <laughs> yes. that's a different type of thing. Yes. Yeah. Um, why are they so expensive? Well, you know, I'm, shoes can be very expensive. I'm going to give you an example, very simple to understand. If you take a bottle of wine, you have a second bottle of wine. It's the same content, it's 75 cent centiliters. Mm -hmm. One may be $10, the other one is going to be $300. What, what is the difference? Definitely not in the shape, but it's in, inside the content and what has been put in this wine. It's the same thing for shoes. You know, the, one shoe can be done in 10 minutes, one shoe mm -hmm. is going to have five days of work on, etc. Not necessarily what you would see directly, mm -hmm. but through the details, through everything which has been done, it makes a very, very, very big difference. I love that you're going to do a nude line of shoe that covers all the colors of nude, because normally when it's nude, it doesn't include women of color. But mm -hmm. you're doing a line for cinnamon brown with a dollop of caramel. That's what I call myself. So no matter what color you are, you can find a Louboutin shoe in nude. That's a good thing. Yes, it's, it's already on, actually. I had realized this because showing the collection, I had this girl working with us in Paris, and we were talking about those nude shoes, and she was doing... Hmm. <laughs> and so at, at the end, I said, Shandy, why are you always like mourning? She says, well, you know, you say nude, nude, but this is not... This, no, no, 
I was not saying nude, I was saying flesh. Yes. And she said, but this is not the color of my flesh. So yeah. I just think that it's not normal that flesh is only that color. I don't, yes. I don't feel. Yeah. And I actually and realized that she was completely right. And so I thought, well, flesh, by definition, by strange definition, is really fair. And it's, it, and it's not fair. And there's actually. a men's line, Charlie. I know. Very snazzy yeah. shoes for men. <laughs> well, great to have you here. Christian Louboutin, thank you.